women that are educated find it easier to jump over the many unnecessary barriers that we often put between the woman and the information and means she needs to control her fertility. And, but secondly, when fertility declines rapidly, then you're better able to educate your children. So that in Thailand, we went from six to 1.8 children in 30 years. In the middle of that change, we did a very careful study. And we asked families that had two children, or had four and more children, how much money they earned, whether they had straw or tiles on the roof, how big their land holding was. And the children from the smaller families were more likely to go to school and stay in school. And I think this is the primary driver why people in the developing countries want fewer children, because they all know the power of education. And they all know you have a smaller family, your kids are more likely to get educated. It's not rocket science. But if we remove the barriers between family planning, the knowledge and means to do it, then even illiterate people will have fewer children, as we've shown in Bangladesh, is the perfect e example of that. And so the fact that what's happened in Iran is that more women are now in university, which I think is a great thing. Last time I was in Iran, I drove from Mashhad, which is a religiously conservative city, into Afghanistan, into Herat. Both these areas are the same. They are Farsi-speaking Shiite Muslims. And the villages are very similar. They're, they're thick-walled houses, and they're growing similar crops. In the villages in Iran, they have two children, and they're making progress. You cross this dusty border, which I think my British ancestors drew in the 19th century, and you've got the same religion, the same language, the same culture, and they're having seven children. And they're so poor that the girls don't have any shoes in the snow. No, so we could have done the same in Afghanistan if we'd made things available, and that country would have been profoundly different from the mess it's in at the present moment.